much Africa has houses, they have the type of houses that we want, you know, they have <laughs> the things that I want for the kids, like there are a lot of things that South Africa checks on the box. So. <laughs> So born of a fetu, Unjani, straight. I don't know if uh, I've managed as of right now, but I'm working so hard to make sure that my wife is so South African dream. Let me see what she thinks. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. And welcome, if you have never been here before, this is Lala. I'm Nikki, I am from the U.S. And this is... Sammy, <laughs> I, I'm from the motherland, Uganda, South Africa. So we talk about everything African on this channel. We talk about the continent, our travels, our children and their travels, and where we're going to end up. So, today we will be talking about... Where are we exactly. going to end up? <laughs> We're talking about basically uh, now real perspective. Southern Africa, for instance, in South Africa, and the, where we are. Yes, West Africa. <laughs> where we have been for almost three years. And Right now, we are in Senegal, Dakar, and I love Senegal. I truly love Senegal. I don't know, maybe it's because it was the first country I came to when I first came to the continent. I absolutely fell in love. I mean, maybe if I would have went somewhere else, I wouldn't have fallen in love, but I really love Dakar. Dakar is a developed country. Um, the people are amazing. The food is good. The quality of food is good. I mean, it really checks off a lot of boxes for me. The only other thing is, and, and the weather is for me, because I don't like the cold. It's too hot. I like the hot. It's very hot here. It's too hot. It is deserty. So it does get really hot, especially in their summers. You know, it does get cool, but it doesn't get too cold. So that is one of the things I worry about. We're going to South Africa. <laughs> yeah, I think I think for me, um, this trip or oh, this journey of taking my family to South Africa, you know, has been one of those big, massive, you know, journeys I really have to dive in, bow and check every box to make sure it fits, you know, mm -hmm. what we want. Yeah, and it truly what, came up. Not even I think, you know. We met here in Senegal, so I think you never even, maybe I expressed myself already early on, mm -hmm. that South Africa was not somewhere I wanted to go, mm -hmm. and I think at the time, you know, you being in West Africa, you were enjoying your time in West Africa, so it wasn't something that was just like, you know, you were like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, and I was, you know, it just wasn't something that was really even yeah. a topic. And also, there's some like the, the things you heard about South Africa that mm -hmm. also brought kind of a hesitancy. Of course, you for know. me, you know, but it wasn't like you were like trying to convince me or of anything. We just were living and enjoying our time here in West Africa. I love Senegal. Let me say it again. <laughs> well, I did spend time. We spent time in the Gambia also for a year, but, uh, one year and six uh, months. Six months. Yeah which was an experience, it was humbling, it was definitely, as I say again, an experience, you know, for me and the kids to experience, you know, a developing country and really just come to the terms that we're ready for something a bit more developed already, you know. Um, the car again is developed, there is the language barrier that to learn a language. There's, I know some of the language to be able to get around. Mm -hmm. But truly, I have to say that something is calling me to that part of the region. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that really brings back, bring us to, to the issue of you know, 
something we want to ask you, our viewers. Is South Africa still worth it? You know, <laughs> is it still worth it for us visiting? You know, because the, the, the opinions we're going to tell you right now are based on our own observations. You know, things we have just walked around and say, okay, this and this is happening here. Should we move around? For the number one, I would love to take them to to visit Cape Town, Cape Town you know, visit Table Mountains, climb, hike along those beautiful mountains. Yeah, so. you talk a lot about it. You tell me a lot, which may, has made me look up things. It's beautiful from what I can see. I mean, once again, I haven't been there, but it's definitely beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, and also the, the convenience of the language. Yeah. That is a plus, absolutely. I think that if I spoke the language here in Senegal, I would be able to get around more. Not that, I don't know, I hate to say that it restricts me at all because we really do move around and, and get about with no, I, I, I really, truly, Senegal is one of the most expensive countries on the continent. And that's a real thing, like truly. <laughs> it's developed. They are developing more because they really did put all of their development in one area, which makes it kind of congested, which makes it more like kind of expensive to say. Mm. So they are, you know, building new cities, you know, trying to push everyone back, you know, out into all this space that they have because it's this huge country. So that is one of the big things also with these because South Africa is beautiful. It's past development yeah, <laughs> and there's plenty that you can get there that also checks on our list like even the fact that the car has a lot of, you know they mostly have flats yeah. unless you know you go out and you buy land and the out parts mm -hmm. not in the car you know and build your young compound or whatever houses mm -hmm. and so you know south africa has houses they have the type of houses that we want you know they have the things that I want for the kids, like there are a lot of things in South Africa. Chicks on the box. So. Because uh, I think, I think, whew, uh, let, let, please let us know what's your opinion. What other things you feel like make South Africa number one choice? More than Senegal, what other things are the family traveling? Yeah, because I like Senegal. I've said it how many times? <laughs> many times. It's always going to be yeah. special to me because I guess because you know, I came here. Yeah. This is the first place I came and it's absolutely amazing for me. Coming from the West, it's a totally different vibe. It's a totally different community, the brotherhood, you know, all of that. It's just the, it's beautiful. So. It's the same thing in South Africa. Yeah. I, I'm trying so much to tell her, you know. Because, yeah. yes, I could understand she has never experienced it. She has never been there. But once you are down in Muzanzi, that's why they say Muzanzi for sure. You know, it's a different vibe, it's a different energy when you go there. You know, either you're in Cape Town, either you're in Durban, either you're in Johannesburg. You know, but you and no matter where you are, that's why I'm trying always to convey to just. Paint pictures and pictures and pictures of us. You don't just keep town. Because, no. yes, we would love to put more to keep town. Yeah. Also, want to check out Dublin. Those beaches there. Take them to the wine tasting. Oh my God. The things that you tell me, it's just like, well, I just, I'm excited. I'm excited to come. I'm excited to see what it's experience it, experience the vibe, because it seems like a vibe, everything that I watch, I'm like, oh, it must be a vibe, like, right? for real. So there's a lot of things, you know, we want to do that we can see ourselves doing there, so, I don't know, maybe it'll be our forever home, we'll see. All right, guys, if you really are living in South Africa and uh, you are African-American or African diaspora, please, Comment down below and tell us your experience, you know, yes. as a family, as Arena. an individual in South Africa. Yeah. You know, how, has, how has it been for you? you know, and we thank you so much, Oris, for liking, sharing, subscribing, engaging. And commenting, yes. <laughs> I love all the feedback. I love communicating, getting to know everybody, and you know, all the, the advice you can give. So, all well, that said, until next time. Until next time, we remain. Peace and love. Bless.